hey, I'm Grete from Scandinavian Today. I am going to make an absolutely delicious and pretty bread, a sunflower bread stuffed with ricotta cheese and spinach. My little grandson, he loves anything that has to do with the movies Frozen. And since the new movie Frozen Fever is coming out and they have sunflowers in the movie, I thought this is a perfect timing to make this delicious bread. So while we're watching the movie, we can enjoy joy eating the sunflower bread. And hopefully you will also like it. Let's start making it. Here you see the ingredients for my sunflower spinach bread. Okay, I have three quarter cup of milk and it's heated to about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I have two tablespoons of olive oil, I'm adding it. And also I'm going to add the one and a half teaspoon of yeast. And let's mix it all. And then I'm going to leave it for a few minutes before I add the whole egg and one teaspoon of salt. And also I have three and a half cup of flour. So all of that is going to be mixed up. Actually I can add the salt now and also the whole egg. Let's mix it up. I pour the milk yeast mixture in here and gradually I add the flour. And finally I'm going to mix it by hand. And of course you can use an electric mixer if you have that. And I mix a little bit. And I continue kneading the bread by hand until it has the right consistency. So it's just about right now. I've been kneading for several minutes. Okay. And now I'm going to leave it in a bowl. And I'm going to cover it up. And while I'm leaving this alone to get double in size, I'm going to finish the spinach with the ricotta and, and everything else. So here you see the rest of the ingredients for my spinach sunflower bread. I have um, about one and a half cup of ricotta cheese. Um, I have four ounces of mozzarella one egg, a little bit of uh, nutmeg. If you don't care for nutmeg, you don't need it. Then I have uh, 12 ounces of spinach. I already cooked it and I have it drained and it's chopped up. And then besides that, you can add salt and pepper to your taste. I'm also going to sprinkle a little bit of breadcrumbs on the dough before I add the spinach. Uh, it can absorb some of the moisture. And then finally, uh, when I have it all together, I'm going to sprinkle some sesame seeds in the center of it. So let's get going mixing all those ingredients up here. First of all, make sure you squeeze as much moisture as you can out of the spinach. All right, that's very important, I find. And I think I have done it now. So pour out the moisture, okay, the liquid. All right, so now I have mozzarella, but if you're Parmesan, I, su I suggest you use Parmesan cheese. Alright, and here we add the ricotta. And then, I'm going to add the one whole egg. Here it comes. And a little bit of nutmeg, like I mentioned earlier, but you really don't have to add that if you don't care for that. Add a little bit of salt, and also a little bit of pepper, according to your taste. 
Alright, so let's mix it up thoroughly. And then I'm going to roll out my dough and add this spinach mixture. And I cut the dough in half, two halves, and turn it into a round ball, and then I'm going to roll them out. And I'm going to make them about uh, a foot in diameter. Approximately. So now I'll roll it out. Otherwise I want it to turn into a nice big circle. And here I have my two circles rolled out. So this is going to be the top of the sunflower spinach spread. And this is the bottom, so I can now add the ingredients. So now I rolled out the dough, and of course the spinach filling is all finished. So I'm taking part of the spinach filling and putting it in the center of the bread and then the rest is going around it in a circle. And here I will show you how it looks before I place the rest of the dough on top of it. And of course then I also use a, a small bowl which I'm putting in the center as well. And here we have the top. And it looks like it fits nicely. I'm going to squeeze, squeeze the two pieces together with a fork all the way around and in the center actually I'm going to add a dish or bowl and here here is the bowl I'm adding to the center so keep it and squeeze it down okay and then I continue with the fork around the edges so I remove the bowl from the center I took it off and I sprinkle with sunflowers. And here I am going to cut, cut it in quarter, four times. And then I'm going to cut each part about four times. I cut each part in half. And of course, I keep cutting until I have all of it cut. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to twist it, press it down. And here comes the next one. Twist a little bit, press it down. And I go all the way around like that. Another one, squeeze, press it down a little bit, and then squeeze the end of it together. Here you see my sunflower all finished, and I'm going to let it rest for about half an hour before I put it in the oven to bake. So let's cover it up. And here we have it in the oven, ready to bake at a degree of 350 for approximately half an hour, I would say. I'll check back. So here you see my spinach sunflower bread just came out of the oven. It's still so hot and I can't wait to taste it. But I have to wait, I have to be patient. But I think it's gorgeous. And right next to me I have this sunflower and I think there's some resemblance here. So I look forward to eat this and uh, serve it for my family. I'm sure they'll like it. So I'm ready to taste my spinach sunflower pie. I have a nice slice here. It's still warm. And of course you can eat it just plain or some people like to dip it in a little bit of tomato sauce. So that's what I'm doing right now. Mm-hmm, it's very good.
I like it a lot. So beautiful to look at. Healthy. Tastes good. So it was fun making it. I really enjoyed it. And hopefully you will also like it. And please subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. School. I'll see you another day.